I got somebody else in here. What's up, champ? Talk to me. Hey, Coach Mike. How you doing? I'm, I'm uh, outside of Philadelphia. I'm a little south of you. Okay, okay. Well, how how are you? I'm I'm really good. I'm I'm winding down. I just finished up training tonight, so I'm uh I'm happy and tired. The, the way a boxer should be, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So what's up? What's your question? So my question is this. Uh, and by the way, first of all, your stuff is great. I've already bought three of your courses. They're fantastic. Your heavy bag conditioning drills are top notch. I have tortured some of my buddies when we've gone into my garage gym and we've, we've worked it proper. So okay, well, <laughs> thank now, you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me, man. I really do highly appreciate that. So um, my question is this, actually, I've, I've got a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a double point of view. And I was wondering what you think about this. I've been working with a couple of coaches down here, working with very simple parrying off the jab and the cross. I got one coach that's like, I like to mirror. So when the left jab comes, the right hand parries and deals with it. But I have another coach who's like, I like to cross it. I like to, to, to stuff the jab with the opposite hand. And I was like, I don't know, man. I was like, I, I kind of like stuffing it with the same side because I've got the counter. But the other one maintains distance better. So you see my question. It's like, what do you think is better or worse? Is there an advantage or disadvantage for each of them? What are your thoughts? Now look, fundamentally by the book and for me, what works in my opinion, most of the time. See, there's always rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> okay. But you always teach the fundamentals because the fundamentals are proven already. Now, you like the catch with the rear hand because of the counter. But see, I look at it even a step further than that. I catch with the rear hand because when that next punch comes, my hand's already in position to block the second punch. Because what comes after the jab most of the time? The two. Yeah, the cross. Okay, so if I'm reaching and I block your jab with the left hand the way the second coach is telling you, what am I exposed for? A yeah. straight right hand. Now I got to do double the work. And if a guy's throwing really quick, that punch might slide through. But if my hands are in position and I catch the jab, straight right hand comes, look where my gloves at. All I have to do is raise it to the temple. Yeah, it's already so, there. So it's definitely fundamentally and better to do it by the book. If a guy throws a straight right hand, you know, yes, I can put my palm out and possibly catch it. You see what I'm saying? But or but he's saying to go with the opposite hand. So if I catch it like this, which I would never do, right? If I catch it like this, now what am I exposed for? A left hook. So a guy goes right hand, left hook, I'm catching it here, boom, I'm getting caught with the hook. But if I catch the right hand here, the way I'm supposed to with the lead glove, when the hook comes, I just tilt over and the shot's there. So the second yeah. coach, I probably would go with your first coach. Yeah, and no disrespect to him. Everybody's got a thing, but it felt right what you just described, that idea of keeping the same side, keeping it very tight. Everything kind of comes to me instead of me reaching for it, you know? You know boxing defense is, 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 is put in a way so everything is there for you to, to not think. You know, it's like a system that's in place for your business so it can run by itself. When you learn how to box properly and your hands are supposed to where they're supposed to be, you don't have to think anymore because when you're doing things properly, your hands are already there. Got those a jab, boom. Got those a right hand, boom. Got those a hook, boom. Got those a left hook to the body, I slightly squat, boom. Got those the other side, boom. So look, I didn't have to do all this reaching the punches and flaring with the hands to try to figure out where the punches are coming from. Everything is right there. Pop, 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 pop. I don't got to do anything. You see what I'm saying? I don't got to do nothing extra. We don't want to have to do extra work for the same result. Yes, yes. Coach, thank you. That's a great answer. That's just what I need to help to organize that. I like that. I'm running with it with my guys next week. All right, cool, man. And you already know, I don't know if you got Defensive Principles 101, but we go over all that stuff on there, me and Eddie. You getting me to spend some more money? I think it's worth Listen, it. 75% <laughs> off, you'll get it for, this is my last 75% sale, by the way. Mm. But honestly, honestly, the, it, 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 everything's in there. Everything's in there. Even little things that you might not expect to be in there. So just give it a check out if you want. That would be great, Coach. Like I said, I've already bought three of your courses. They're phenomenal. They're great stuff. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you coming on. God bless you. Have a great weekend, all right? Thank you, my brother. Take care. 
That was dope. My boy came in with some good questions. Um, so 